Hey everyone and welcome to a little tutorial on how to make a custom background just like the one you see in front of you. As you can see this is of my Minecraft world and I haven't actually been using this I've been using another one but yeah I'm going to be taking you I'm going to be showing you taking you through the process of how to take a custom panoramic background just like this one. It's super easy only takes about five minutes this tutorial is probably a little bit longer but if you know what you're doing it only takes about five minutes so yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into it. So I took this one in the Minecraft world here, and I think I'm going to take the next one in the Minecraft world too. So let's cop in here. This is where I took it. I literally took it just then. So it's, you know, that shows how easy it is. But anyway, I'm going to go and try and find a good spot to take this. Hmm, you know what? I think I'm going to take it in here. This is one of my favorite areas of my world here. It's the Witch Hub. By the way, I have a series of this on my channel. But anyway, that's enough self-promotion. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and do this in the Witch Hub. So I'm going to try and get perfectly centered here, as you can see. And the only thing that you need for this, this requires no data packs, no mods or anything. You just need to have access to commands. But even then, that's not really a must. You kind of just... It's preferred because basically the commands we're going to be using is slash TP and it's going to be super simple literally just setting your orientation just like that uh, But you can of course do that manually by lining it up So if I try and line this up with 90 just like so and then line that up with zero Yeah, it's really hard to do manually. I can't actually access zero there I'd have to change my sensitivity down. But yeah, anyway Anyway, so now that we're in position for where we want to actually take this screenshot I'm gonna go ahead and log out of the world here and we actually want to go ahead and log out of our entire game here as well. Now what you want to go ahead and do is open up your Minecraft launcher once again. You want to go over to installations here up in the top right. Now I use this one which I've called OF which is Optifine but you probably would be using latest release and this actually does work in the snapshot as well. So if you want to take you know a nice panoramic background of some of the custom caves this does work in the snapshot as well. Anyway so let's go ahead and we just want to click on that just like so and we want to come down here to the resolution. We want to set that to 1000 by 1000 and click save just like that. Awesome. So now that we've done that, we just want to go ahead and click play once again. All right. So now when this launches, you should see it opens up just like this. Unless last time you had it in full screen mode, then you can just press 11 to go out of full screen and it should come up in a window like this. Now, if you accidentally do that, don't worry, just pull it back down and it should be fine. Anyway, as you can see, I've got the whole window in view here. So we can go back to the world that we want to take the screenshot in. And all right, now that that's loaded up, we want to go ahead and enable cheats once again. And we want to put in this command as follows. So you want to do slash TP at S just like that, which basically means you. That's the person we're talking about here. Then you want it to do relative, 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 just like that, which is a little thing in the very top right, just under the escape key. And you want to go ahead and put in zero space zero, just like that. And these two last things, as it says above, is the rotation. So yeah, if we do that, you can see it'll rotate us to zero zero, which is actually facing south. Yeah, facing south, just like that. So you can go ahead and manually line this up with zero zero, but it's just annoying, time consuming. But if you don't have access to cheats on the world, you can do it like that. But if I've, I've just lined it up there, if I do the command, you can see that, well, it's hard to see, but it does shift your camera a little bit. So it's never going to be perfect unless you just get lucky. But yeah, so it is still doable, but that's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, what we want to do now really quickly is we want to go to options and set the FOV to 82. So you might have it on normal, or if you're one of those weirdos, you might have it on Quake Pro, or if you're even weirder, you might have it on 30, but you want to go ahead and change it to 82 here, just like so. And that should line you up perfectly with the corner, just like that. All right, so now that we've done that, all that's left to do is to actually take the screenshots. So we want to press F1 here, do that command again, and then press F2, just like that. And that should have taken a screenshot. Then we want to go and then set that to 90, just like that, and then take another screenshot. Then we want to set it to 180, take another screenshot. And then finally, we want to set it to 270 and take another screenshot. Then what we want to do is we want to set that back to zero and we want to set this to negative 90, just like that. This should point you up in the sky. Oh, it's almost perfect midday. That's awesome. Let's take a screenshot of that. Did that take? Yeah. And then we want to go ahead and change it just to 90, like that. And that should take a screenshot of the floor. And with that, you should be done. Yeah, awesome. Make sure, by the way, in between doing commands, make sure you don't move at all, because otherwise that'll just totally ruin the effect and you won't be able to do it anymore. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to change back into survival mode here and I'm going to exit out of the world once again. And we can go ahead and just quit out of Minecraft here if we want. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way to the Minecraft folder. So the way I do that is by holding the Windows key, press R, 
So if it's the run thing and you just type percent app data percent, click OK and you can see it comes up with this. Then dot Minecraft and you're in your Minecraft folder here. It might be a little bit different on Mac and possibly even Linux as well. I don't know how it works really on either of those, but I'm sure you can look up a tutorial for that. And if I'm good enough, I might just link it in the description, but we'll see. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to navigate to your resource pack folder here and open that. And you can see I have built up a lot of resource packs over time. All right, so now that we're here, what we want to do is we want to right click and then click new folder, just like so. And then you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this custom background tutorial. Awesome. All right, then we want to go ahead and open that. And then what we want to do once we're in this folder here, which is the folder you just created, we want to go to view and then click file name extensions and check that on there. It will flash everything back here, but it's fine because it literally just changes like this being called untitled to untitled.png, as you can see there. Anyway, now that that's enabled, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and right click, click new there, and then click text document just like so. And then we want to go ahead and select all this text here, delete it, and then we want to type pack dot mc meta just like that it'll come up with a little thing saying that you know you want to change the file extension just click yes all right so now that that's created you you might not have this little notepad thing and that's because what you need to do is you need to select it right click it and then go open with and then you want to select notepad out of you know the different options that might be there you want to select notepad just like so and then it should come up like this then what you want to do is you want to go down to the description and copy paste this text that I've put down there. So you can see it's got the pack format that's six in there and that's for, you know, the newest update. And you can change this description to whatever you want. Just make sure you keep these quotation marks in here. I think that's a bit of an appropriate name. Anyway, you want to do control S or if you want to do this, you can do file and then save and then you can exit out of that. All right, so now what we want to do is we're going to create a bunch of different folders. Now I have gone ahead and in the description put a list of all the folders. Each folder goes inside of the, next, the previous one. So basically what you want to do is you want to right click new folder, you want to call it assets, just like so. Go into it, right click new folder, you want to call it Minecraft, just like so, and etc, etc, copying all of the file names from the description there. And it is case sensitive, so make sure you do exactly what it is. Copy paste it if you think that would make you feel a bit safer. But yeah, you want to do it exactly, no capitals or anything, just like how it is. And background, boom. But yeah, so as you can see, that's a lot of folders there. <laughs> and then what we want to do once we've created all of that is we want to open up the Minecraft folder once again. And then we want to scroll down to screenshots here. Now, I've got quite a few screenshots over time. And we just want to focus on these last few here. So these are the actual panoramic shots here. Now, we can't actually use these file names, so we want to actually go ahead and change that. So just slowly double click on that and name it panorama underscore zero, and then pan panorama underscore one, etc., etc. And if you took it in the same order that I did, you should have no problems with just going down the line and calling these as they come like this, panorama two, and all the way up to Panorama 5. And boom, just like that. So now we have all of the Panorama images just like this. And now what we wanna do is let's make the screenshots on our left and the background on our right, just like so. And we wanna go all the way back down to the bottom once again. And then we wanna select all of these. I'm just gonna select the first one, hold shift, and then select the second one just to select all of them. And then we wanna go ahead and drag this into the background, just like so. And of course, now we can exit out of both of these, open up Minecraft once again, and well, if you want to, you can go ahead and go back to installations and revert that change that we did before. It doesn't matter too much, but it just, I don't know, personally annoys me, so I like to change it back. <laughs> and boom, now that we've launched up Minecraft, you can see that it is still the default panorama. But what we wanna do is we wanna go to options here, resource packs, and then we want to scroll down until we find the one that we just made, custom background tutorial, subscribe should really do what that says. I mean, come on, let's be honest, we, you should. Anyway, <laughs> self-promotion stuff aside, once you select that, the Mojang screen should fade away eventually and you can click done and marvel at your new creation. Look at that. So the seam lines are really, really hard to see in this. You can see it just goes up right in the corner there. So there is a little bit of discrepancy there, but honestly, it's really not that noticeable, especially if you're not trying to look for it. If you're looking for it, you can probably notice it, but if you're not looking for it, literally fine. You won't even see it. And in terms of the bottom seam line, it looks like it might be going across there, but it's honestly really hard to tell. Oh no, there it is down at the bottom there. Yep, so that's a little bit noticeable there, but honestly, it's fine. I've used far dodgier panorama backgrounds before, and honestly, 
it looks perfectly fine. It's not even noticeable any seam lines or anything if you're just not using it normally because, I mean, let's be honest, you're not actively looking at the seam lines when you're looking at the Minecraft menu, are you? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there we go. That is my tutorial on how to make a custom background in Minecraft Java Edition. Now, for Bedrock Edition, it would be a little bit different. I'm really not sure how to do it for Bedrock Edition at all, not in the slightest. So, yeah, you might have to look up a different tutorial for that, unfortunately. But yeah, this is how to very quickly, very easily make a custom background for Minecraft Java Edition. So yeah, anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. I actually did make a tutorial like this on my second channel, but eh, it wasn't quite as good. It had a data pack download, but it really wasn't needed. I didn't really understand how the teleport command worked properly back then. <laughs> and that was on the second channel, so the video quality wasn't nearly as good. So yeah, anyway, um, I will also be providing a download to this as a reference to this resource pack. So if you are having issues with your own resource pack for whatever reason, you can just download mine and just see how, you know, how it works, what the differences are, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing if you enjoyed it that much. Um, and please consider checking out some of the other content on the channel. I put a lot of effort into stuff and yeah, anyway. Enough plugging. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Get up, get up.